The 76th Cannes Film Festival kicks off this evening and I'm joined now by film critic Emma Jones, who's on the Quasette. Uh, Emma, the festival opens with May Wan's historical drama, Jean du Barry. Uh, what sort of choice is this to start Cannes? Well, it's a choice with star power, I guess, because Johnny Depp is in the leading role and he will he's sure to cause worldwide headlines. But uh, Jean Dubarry is also a lavish, historical, expensive French drama. Um, it's kind of classic can, really, classic can kickoff. And it's a story of Jean Dubarry, who uh, came from very humble origins and worked her way up right to the, the king's court and became the mistress of Louis. Louis XV of France. Uh, the director and actress Mai Wan stars as Jeanne Dubarry and Johnny Depp stars as the French king Louis XV and indeed he acts in French throughout. Uh, Mai Wan has quite an illustrious uh, directing career behind her as well. She did a great film in 2015 called My King, Mon Roi and she also did a 2020 film called DNA. But of course it's Johnny Depp that's going to grab all the headlines and I can't help feeling that the festival knew what it was doing when it put Put this film in on opening night because a big Hollywood star is bound to grab a lot of headlines and especially a big Hollywood star who's a bit of a controversial choice because of course don't forget that very high profile court case um, behind him from last year and Depp himself may feel this is a great platform for which to relaunch his acting career. Now France 24 spoke to Mai Wen recently about making the film and her choice to, to cast Depp in this movie. So let's hear more from her and also see a bit of the film, which is opening in France this week. Well, you know, he lost his first trial and won the second. And that's his private life. Very quickly, I realized we'll never know the answer. And we're not prosecutors or judges. Unfortunately, his life is very exposed, but we had to get on with it. I started from the principle that it was none of my business. I wanted him to get a taste for acting again. La Comtesse Jeanne Dubarry. Surtout, ne regardez pas le roi dans les yeux. Ce serait perçu par la cour comme une invitation. Une invitation à quoi À la bagatelle. Now, of course, Emma, much has been made of those seven female directors being in competition mm. at Cannes this year. It's a record for the festival. What does it signify? I guess you could call it progress <laughs> in the sense that uh, now a third of all uh, people in competition are actually women. And as you say, that is a record. It gives them a higher ratio, a better chance of actually winning the Palm d'Or. And it really marks actually that can, um, it did speak some years ago of its commitments to uh, gender equality and it really, really is trying to get there. Um, there are some really, excuse me, some really, really interesting films from these female filmmakers this year as well. Uh, there is, an, and particularly from African filmmakers, so the Tunisian Kauta Benhania, who's already been Oscar nominated, she's in competition with her film Four Daughters. And then there's a debut feature film, Banel et Adama, by French Senegalese filmmaker Ramata Tullier-Si. And uh, this is a, a love story and it's creating a huge buzz on the Quasette. So why don't we have a little taster of Banel et Adama? Maybe what they say, because I have been the one who is a hedge in an alum.
Let's also not forget there are some great French female filmmakers in competition, Justin Trier and Catherine Breat. And uh, really, there's been a little bit of sniping on the quizette so far this year uh, from critics who said that those female filmmakers make up for the rest of the competition, which seems to be full of old men. Now, that is slightly ageist, although they do have a little bit of a point. So the competition is made up of some real veteran directors, including the Italian Marco Bellocchio, uh, Vim Vendors, and then you have Ken Loach, uh, who at the age of nearly 87 is, is making his, what he says is probably his final film and competing maybe for a record third Palm d'Or. And Emma, speaking of people with long and distinguished careers, Michael Douglas yeah. is going to receive an honorary Palm d'Or this week. Yeah, that was one of the last pieces of news we actually had about the festival, that Michael Douglas will be receiving an honorary Palm d'Or, and in doing so, he'll be joining very illustrious company, including Agnes Varda, Forrest Whitaker, um, and Jodie Foster, who've all received this honorary award. And Michael Douglas, I believe he first came to Cannes in 1979. Uh, so a huge 40-year uh, career behind him since then. He says he absolutely loves the festival, and that will certainly be a really touching moment. Emma Jones reporting there from Quasette and obviously what's going to be a fascinating calm film festival and soak up that sun, Emma. <laughs> I will.